Boys and girls, we have it. My review of the Discovery set of... My review of the Stevens line, the Discovery set. What have you pronounced this? Navitas. Look, man, my French is terrible. My Italian is terrible, but my nose is pretty dat gum good. And I will tell you that the first one, uh, it is, what is this? Lautus? To be rather than to seem. And the note breakdown is Neroli Oil, Verbena, Lavender, and Uzu, Juniper Berries, Freesia, Oris, and then the base, Ambergris, Patchouli, Rosewood, Sandalwood, Musk, Vanilla Absolute. Let me just say this. This one, on the initial spray, it kind of reminded me, of, it gave me of a vibe of a Bois de Portugal from Creed or the, the uh, pre-reformulation of Dior or Sauvage, but eminently more wearable. This stuff is nice. And I don't tend to lean heavily towards fragrances like that. You guys know I'm a rose, amber, oud, and oriental. But I could see Rocky and wearing this as a signature fragrance. And kudos to you, Stephen, for incredible packaging and presentation. I am very much on the bougie side, and I like Great presentation. Shout out to my dog, Big Beer Business, but I'm not an F the box kind of guy. Nope, nope. The box matters to me. So next we have uh, what looks like it says Arcanum, which initially I just said this is going to be me. The top notes are cinnamon, coconut, frankincense, tears, the heart, lobdenum, uh, osmanthus, and oud, laotian oud, and the base, dark amber woods, vanilla, and tonka bean. Oh, yeah. And guys, I've already smelled these many times before I've worn them. I just want to get a refresh. This, this is definitely one that's right up my alley. When I wore this out and about, I had people stopping asking me, what are you wearing? I like the bottle, the color, the glass. Good stuff, Steven. This one? Yeah. I like this one a lot. You know, I'm not usually a big fan of cinnamon in a fragrance, but as it starts to settle down and gets into that mid, you know, anything in oud, you got my attention. Oud and tonka, mm. very nice. Now let's get into the final one, opulentus. Opulentus. Luxurious, complex, and refined. Now, I will tell you, I'm not a big fan of apple in a fragrance. Um, it's one of the notes that I find to be most challenging. Uh, it's one of the reasons I'm not a big fan of Promise from Frederick Mall. But once apple tends to leave a fragrance, what's left behind is incredible. Let's see, in the top we have apple, pink pepper, and lemon. In the mid, we have uh, rose, cipronol, natural oud, and patchouli. And in the base, we have amber, woods, and oak moss. Of all three of these, this will be the most difficult for me to wear, but I love the blend. And I will say that when I was out, uh, this is this actually started up a lot of conversation and this was actually very a lot of compliments on this too maybe it's the time of the year um this is the first one though that's that's kingly that's 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 a distinguished gentleman fragrance i'm gonna say that that's a winner for me uh how do you pronounce it l-a-u-t-u-s however you pronounce that yeah, I could see uh, going to Wall Street wearing this daily. Yep. This is class in a bottle. Uh, and then right here, Arcanum. This is definitely going to be, you know, that, you know, date night, special occasion. You know, something where you need a little bit sweeter. Something that you really can't wear to the office because it'll distract the, the females too much. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, when the apple starts to kind of simmer down and things like this, 
See, when a fragrance is complex and well blended, you must, must give it multiple wearings over different times of day, different temperatures, different moods. Uh, a, a lot goes into giving a fragrance an accurate review. And, you know, opulentus, luxurious is aptly, uh, it's desc aptly described as luxurious. So if I had to rate these, uh, they would rank um, in order. Uh, Lautus, mm -hmm. Arcano, and Opulentus. Yeah, uh, I, I nice job. You know, I know when fragrance reviewers release fragrances, um, the community can sometimes be mixed on things. Um, I will say that I expected nothing other than something of this caliber from Steven. You know, I expected uh, incredible packaging, incredible presentation. Um, I expected, and I expected the juice, the, the sense to be commiserate with his um, skill level, his um, level of dedication to the community, to the, the art and the craft. So well done, my friend, well done. Um, yes, good stuff. I, I am, I cannot wait to try more from the house. I like that. That's so unusual because I'm, I, why I keep coming back to this because Bois de Portugal and Dior Eau Sauvage are fragrances I wish that I could love, uh, but they were just not something I really would go to, to wear. I would test and spray but I wore this and I was, I was captivated. Um, I, I thought uh, the Oriental Arcanum would be the one I would go to the most, but surprisingly, it was that one. So who was the perfumer on the first one? Oh, I'm not going to try to pronounce that name. Jesus Christ. Why don't you have some simple names like Keith Jackson or John Thompson or like, I mean, come on, really? My bad. I'll write it down in the description. Do me a favor, guys. I don't review anything on my channel that I that I don't believe in. Uh, and I get sent stuff often. Um, I would never put anything in front of you that I wouldn't risk my reputation and stand behind. So you can't buy that. You can't buy me. Um, if I didn't think it was something that you should know about, I wouldn't put it in front of you. So thank you, Stephen. I think it's a great job. Great presentation. Great fragrances. If and when I decide to do a fragrance, and that's a big if, you've set a standard. Till the next time, talk to you later.